Many Americans have wrestled with this dilemma at some point during the pandemic, yet it still seems to come up again and again, when can you stop isolating after a COVID-19 infection? The question is especially vexing if you're feeling better, but still testing positive on a rapid test. Even with the arrival of new subvariants, the basic ground rules haven't changed since Omicron first came onto the scene, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says someone can stop isolating after five days if they're fever-free for 24 hours and are starting to get better, as long as they can. Some researchers have criticized these rules pointing to research that shows some people may remain infectious after day five and many experts advise waiting until you test negative on an at-home test before venturing out. But if you feel fine, it can be frustrating to wait, especially if you're in the subset of those who test positive past 10 days. James Hay, who studies infectious disease dynamics, remembers earlier this year when his sister continued testing positive for two weeks. Their family had plans to get together over the holiday, a gathering that included an older relative who was vulnerable to COVID. To us, that was just not worth the risk, says Hay, who's a research fellow at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Going to the shops with a mask on, that's a different kind of risk consideration. Testing to get out of isolation is tempting because it promises a straightforward answer. Unfortunately, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the science is not entirely settled. We don't have anything that says definitely you are contagious or definitely you're not, says Dr. Emily Landon, an infectious disease specialist at Chicago Medicine.